dum 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 random dramatic music oh, I can't hold my breath for that long but this cup is awesome as fuck Hell yeah Hello visuals and welcome back to the channel and what the fuck is with this point in? Welcome back to Pokemon First and not today. I thought it would be quite a fun idea to go through my Pokemon plush collection. Now I like doing these videos where I, I say this is what I've got and I think you visuals enjoy it. You can comment down below, you can say how your collection of stuff. And also as a minor note, I may have said it yesterday in Superhero Wednesday, but if there's anything you want like another viewing of or a, a house tour point too, because a lot of stuff has changed, let us know in the comments below. We're happy to do that. But um, today we're gonna look at my Pokemon plushies. And I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. You're wrong. Grown men can have stuffed toys. It's fine. I, th I think. But yes. And hopefully you like my new cup. It shows the whole evolution line. Um, like eight-ish quid from HMV. Not too bad. I mean, the sticker eventually peels off with time, but um, hey yo. So yes, visuals, I'll just get straight into it because um, there's no point pissing around, but I will point out my collection of plushies isn't the greatest in the world. There's some amazing collections out there. But every time I buy a new plush, quite often it ends up at my nephew's house. He just, oh, that's mine, I'll take that home and I'm, I'm left without it. But it's quite cool because it's, um, it's quite nice to see somebody that's so close to me doing exactly what I was a kid and get into bed and still get in with your Pokemon plush. I mean, I still do it now, it's fine, it's okay, we've, we've established this together visuals, and it's fine for grown men to have stuffed toys. Please God, please let it be fine. I hope to fuck it's fine. Right, so, yeah, I've said it many times. I'm doing weird stuff in my mouth lately, I don't know what it is visuals. Uh, thank you for all the love and support lately as well. You guys are the best. Uh, but next time you see me, I'll have a plush in my hand. We'll start off with you. My Growly, I call him Growly, I don't know why, I like Growly, but my Growly, now this was bought for me in a store up in Edinburgh, they would pronounce it Growly, um, uh, but yeah, this was bought for me in a store up in Edinburgh, he's seen better days, this is one of the ones that my nephew has tried to sneak off with, but he sleeps in when he's here, and it does make it, because he, he makes his hair all tatty and minging and stuff, and I have to comb it, literally I sit and I put a brush through there and stuff, but Growly's number one, sorry. Next up, we've got my Gengar. I know it's just a little one. This one was actually bought for me by my mum somewhere. I don't know where. Yes, my mum buys me stuffed toys. I am a grown up, but it's my Growly. He's nice and small. He's not one of the biggest plushies I've got. I think Growly could actually be the biggest one I've got, but it's pretty cool. Gengar's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I've got to stop batting them away. I feel bad. And Dragonite. Now, if you've watched my uh, Megacon, oh, there's a Comic Con. One of the two vlogs, and then plus what I got at Megacon or Comic Con. This was bought there, five pound. Bill did a review on it on the news. He called it a caterpillar, a caterpillar. But it's growly, nice and little. He's nice and clean. The nephew hasn't got his paws on him yet. But um, that's in it. I thought I've got to have that. It's cute as fuck. Ah, uh, we've got Jolteon. Uh, not my favourite evolution. I did actually do a video on my favourite evolutions. It'll be in the Pokemon playlist. Go check that out. But uh, yeah, it was a nice little one. It was it was a quite cheap on a store called Magic Madhouse, which is where I get a lot of my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG stuff. So definitely go check them out. Come in a nice little box. And again, one of my nephew sleeps with, so he gets fucking pitted because my nephew somehow goes to bed fucking extremely dirty. But um, it's a nice, cute little plush. Next up on the list is Magica, Magica. Oh, didn't nearly catch up there. You would have seen him sat there chilling uh, nice on top of Aquaman because that was a weird joke that played out that I think only I laughed at. But this is a nice little Magic Up again from Magic Madhouse. Um, I just needed a Magic Up plush in my life just to sit there on the shelf looking dopey and stupid. I kept that in there in case I wanted to hang him up somewhere. That hasn't happened, but um, Magic Up. Carp, 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 carp. Uh, we've got one more on the bed, but then we've got the shelf behind me. Starting off with this little bugger right here. This little adorable fuck face. Not, I don't know what I'm calling it, fuck. I'm doing a video about stuffed toys and I'm swearing a hell of a lot. Ha <laughs> ha! Definitely not family friendly. But this is, uh, this is Litten from the Alola region. Uh, not my favourite starter. I wanted to get Rowlet. Um, but th this popped up and I thought, oh, I, c I can't not buy that. It was only like 12 quid. Hey, Litten is awesome, just because it's not my favourite Alola starter. It doesn't mean it's not awesome. Um, but it evolves into Toracat and then Incineroar. So it gets a bit bit nasty. Next up, we've got Ho Oh, my only legendary plush. Uh, again, this was from Magic Madhouse. It was to the um, 
celebrate the Pokemon the 20th movie, uh, which was a fantastic movie, and of course, he played a key role. Um, but his wings never want to stay open. It just, it's just flat. It's like, it's like he's playing, it's like he's playing peekaboo. Ha <laughs> ha, peekaboo. I, peekaboo. I see you. But uh, it's, I'm really shit at jokes. We should have established this by now, though, surely. But um, yeah, it's an awesome plush. Um, he hangs up nicely again. I wanted to hang it up, but like just chills on the shelf. You can't really see him in many of the shots that I do on the videos, but um, he's sat chilling, doing his thing, having the time of his life. <sighs> and I've also I've done a video on my favourite legendaries of all time. Go check that out. And next up we have Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Ch Squirtle and Charmander. And to add to this Bulbasaur, who actually is quite this is this is quite solid. I actually do have another Bulbasaur which stays in my room. Slightly smaller one. We'll say their husband and wife. Bulbasaur. Mm -hmm. That was slightly weird, wasn't it? Yeah, this is another one I got from a comic book convention, but I can stay over there. We can see these Bulbasaur's here. But this is a really cool set before Toys R Us. Ah, uh, Toys R Us is closed down now. <laughs> Why? And so many toys and so much stuff. <laughs> Should definitely get an Oscar for that. Um, yeah, Bulbasaur's quite solid. There's a lot going on there. So I thought Squirtle Squirt Shell maybe as well was a thing, but these are uh, these are all from the X and Y set. They're pretty cool. They were in a trio. I got mugged off though because on the little box it said seven pound each. I was like, sweet. Turns out they were fifteen pound each, and that's a huge price thing. And I'm really kind of awkward when it comes to buying stuff because if they say, oh no, it's actually this, I'll just go, oh, it's okay, I'll have it. I can't say, oh no, I'm not paying that much. I, I get really weird about the whole thing. But they live on the shelf. You guys see them in pretty much every video now, or you should do anyway. Uh, they chill, they're doing a thing. Squirtle's face is a little bit wonky. He's kind of pissed. And there we have it, visuals. My little, uh, my little remote has absolutely fucked on me. I can't do anything with it. It just will not move. It, 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 it's supposed to make editing processing slightly easier, but... Uh, it's making life harder, but there we go, visuals. That was my plush collection. How many do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. I think I count eleven. Uh, so not like I said, not the biggest collection. Um, I spend more money on like the Pokemon TCG type stuff and uh, games and whatnot, and then Lego sets. But uh, the plushes are cool. I, I do want to get a bigger collection. I should have about twenty, and I've got a Mewtwo, a Charizard, a Snorlax. Uh, I think I've got an Espeon and a few more of us up at my nephew's house. Keeps robbing them, so thank you very much for watching no visuals, and if you could hit that like button, subscribe, let us know your favourite plushies of mine, and let us know your collections and how crazy and big they are in the comments below. That would be dope. And visuals, you fucking guys are literally the best. So thank you so much for everything you've done with the channel, and um, just stick around, watch what you want, um, like, go, dislike, comment, do, do anything you want on the channel. There's some really low budget, low quality stuff, but that is what we pride ourselves on, like I keep fucking saying. Visuals, you mean the world. Keep being you, and keep on, keep it on. I miss the fucking judo chop. <laughs> <coughs> Still so fucking ill. If you've liked what you've seen, guys, if you enjoy watching me, enjoy watching Dan, or even a little glimpse of our little friend Bill that's sitting in the corner, doing whatever he's doing, you can now follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.